Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myq.rahulnavy.net and um, we'll be continuing the um, this particular section from the place where we have left off. So in this case, uh, what we are trying to achieve is like to uh, populate this particular section with some data over here. So in the last section which you have seen me here, um, I was doing certain data uh, mocking up here like uh, a set of JSON data. So let's uh, do a um, let's I would like to prefer this as a collection so let's wrap it here and um, this piece of information I like to copy and um, I will just paste over here a couple of times let's say five times so that we can have some meaningful data to work with and um, ID two, three, four, five. All right. Now this is how one area got constructed, right? So, but this is the same repetitive data. So, I like to replace it with my one of the meaningful data which I have already have here is like uh, let's replace that. Uh, okay. Great. But this looks meaningful. Let's little bit formatting here is required. That's okay. Now the fact is, I like to use this particular data dot JS as in my app. Um, currently, I'm not going to touch upon this uh, this guy app folder. Let it be. Um, so gradually, we uh, see that. Uh, uh, even if you like to slice it up in a different folder we will do that but for now that's okay so let's wrap it in some function let's say I would be needing here this is not needed here I would be needing self anonymous guy and this piece needs to get invoked here that's okay let it take outside of this now everything looks okay right I don't want to have any parameters so let's have this so my mock data is pretty much wrapped here well, this will be right to have strict mode so if anything is done assigned that is not going to be used, that will throw me an error. So this is something, uh, ECMAScript 5 convention, ECMAScript 6 conventions, you can think about that. So <clears throat> that's okay, now let's go ahead and uh, create some Angular stuff over here. So before that, I like to have an intelligence in place. So for that, um, I would be needing this scripts folder here, like Angular dot angular.js folder for that I would be using this um, so let's see this layout config how the scripts are getting loaded here so it is basically a MVC convention to um, a script start render and it is checking that bundle piece from this particular folder let's say and you will find this here in app start <coughs> bundle.config is there and here it is checking that uh, uh, bundle dot bootstrap and other stuff so I will be placing here I can have my own custom uh, bundle here but it's okay uh, for this demo purpose this is fine so I will be putting here let's say I guess this is angular dot js of course this is angular dot js a small doesn't matter actually but let's have it that way now once my angular is loaded I need to reference my data which is in different folder that is in data folder and that will be data.js that's okay since this is server side I need to build once that's done so my <coughs> scripts will be loaded as soon as my layout bits gets triggered over from there so that's fine now get back to the index page so here you can see here there is a div section so here I like to populate my data but before that 
let's go ahead and construct some angular stuff here so this is my data piece so let's do something uh, first thing i need to create creating module so as uh, i was saying that um, angular is pretty much uh, modular everything is module driven and dependency injection is going to uh, uh, take over uh, that particular piece like if certain modules are dependent on certain modules so, like so that's how it works out let's say where app equals angular dot module and i like to say that um, movies app how's that and if there is any dependency if this app is having any dependency that is going to come over here in the square brackets but if there is no dependency that has to be kept it blank this is how that convention works now creating control let's put one comment over here okay so with that app i can go ahead and create that you can see that intelligence is helping me <clears throat> and let's give it some proper name i would uh, prefer to have this guy as movies control how about that and uh, there will be one function the name movies ctrl I will be taking a scope here. A scope is nothing but uh, is a glue between your <laughs> control and an app and presentation and view. So this is going to help you with the data binding. We will see this in coming section. So now this is scope is in place and controller is in place. Um, so this scope needs to have some data. Right. Let's copy and paste. And let's say this is going to be view movies and uh, my mock data then needs to get assigned over here so this is scope is having one uh, movies variable over here you can think of and that is having all this complete list of uh, data right so let's go ahead and uh, populate the same here um, in this div section I would like to do something like let's do something like uh, an ordered list and um, let's populate view info let's say movie name um, I will be doing this guy until later let's copy this I will explain this piece what is M here? Let's do these things. Director name. What else? I was having release here also, right? All right. Um, the last thing is number of reviews, right? And this guy is um, all right. So here, I need to say this particular div will be using my ng controller, which I have created here. So this is the name of my controller. So this particular, the, so the scope of this particular um, chip is, is with that particular controller, right? So whatever data is inside in this controller that will get served over here now we'll see this in in a moment like how i would rather prefer to have it here and here i would say ng repeat because i'll be looping through in collection since it is movies so let's say m in movies now from where it is movies is coming so this dollar scope dot movies is there so this will be available here in this controller piece 
movie control so movies is available and now i will go to that movies and individually i will grab the thing so now movie name is taken already let's take other pieces like director name similarly i need release here and number of reviews done what else let's get rid of this so now it looks much cleaner right now one last piece is missing here in order to mark this page as ng app i need to tell that okay, that this particular page is angular page so i need to put that module which i have created earlier so this is the thing which i need to copy here now this entire app has become that angular app because this is the layout page which is the first thing going to be triggered so now that this particular page is angular driven uh, with that uh, particular scripts are getting injected over here and then it will go to that index page and uh, if everything goes well then we should be seeing our data let's build once and uh, refresh that page once and with luck we should be seeing this data all right so this is working fine as you can see here it uh, populated the entire data now if we inspect this in console what happened here is or uh, let's say sources no, no. one thing i wanted to show here is this ng app as you can see this uh, element section it loaded my module which we have created with that ng app here and in body this guy ng scope gets triggered with this by controller right and here if you see this this entire thing is there so this is the not at least and this is how ng binding is happening so this is the one which i was talking about and if you see this angular js graph and this is one extension which is um, i have already explained in my book that how it works out so here it's uh, just shows like uh, what are the things and what are the components you are using it's showing that i am using only movies control so this is fairly a uh, good way to investigate like uh, what are the things are getting involved in your angular app so with this i like to close this demo here and in the next section we'll see that how uh, we interact with services and uh, do the some other interesting stuff till then goodbye thanks